Hey besties, welcome back to the channel. If you are watching this video right now, it means that you are probably finding it hard to secure a sponsorship job in the UK right now. In fact, it looks like overseas recruitment of foreign workers is coming to an end and no employer is willing to give a certificate of sponsorship anymore. So in this video, we're going to be talking about what exactly is going on behind the scenes. Why is it so difficult for you to find a sponsorship job in the UK? And what are your options as a student or as a foreign worker looking for a sponsorship job in the UK or even as a dependent already in the UK trying to get a sponsorship job to secure your stay what exactly are your options so keep watching I'll be right back <music> Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to the channel. So if you are finding it hard to get a sponsorship job right now, I just want you guys to know that you are not alone in this boat. A lot of people have been finding it hard to find an employer willing to give a certificate of sponsorship. And this is not just for people that are still in their home country. Even those that are in the UK are also not finding it easy at all. So what exactly has been going on? You guys are aware that from 11th of March, the new rule that says that care assistants can no longer bring their dependents to the UK came into effect and because of that a lot of people lost interest so they were no longer willing to come over to the UK with their family but that is not you you are still willing to come over to the UK it's just that there is no job so what exactly is going on and what are your options so you guys are aware that in the past UK VI has been focusing their attention on foreign workers in the UK and a lot of them were deported those people that were going against the terms of their visa those people that were found guilty of buying certificate of sponsorship most of them were deported back to their country now you would think that that should sort out a lot of issues but no right now ukvi is focusing their attention on employers so they are still looking at the employees but right now the major focus is on employers ukvi went to the offices of a lot of employers to check their books to check their accounts to make sure that they are actually not breaking the terms of their sponsor license so a lot of employers were under scrutiny and ukvi found out that most of these employers were actually breaking the terms of their sponsor license so some of these employers actually lost their license which means that they are no longer allowed to sponsor foreign workers to come over to the uk to work now there are some that did not really lose their license but they were fined so if you've been watching my videos you'll find out that in my last two videos i actually said that my employer sent me an email to send some documents to verify my right to work in the uk so most of these employers had to do that so if you guys have been following the news you'll find out that there is actually a news that went out that said that UKVI is going to be fining employers up to £60,000 per worker if they find out that they are actually breaking the terms of their visa. And some of these employers were unlucky and they had to be fined. So apart from these two scenarios, there are some employers that UKVI had to allocate numbers of COS that can be given to workers by these employers. That is why you find out that some employers right now, they don't even want to listen to anybody that comes and say, I'm looking for a job, but I need to get a sponsorship they'll just turn you straight at the door and say that look we are not offering certificate of sponsorship right now and it's not just people that are in the UK that are actually affected by this there are some people that already have job offers that are still in their home country and they are waiting for their employers to give them certificate of sponsorship most of the time these employers can no longer give you certificate of sponsorship because a lot of things have been going on behind the scene a lot of them have lost their licenses some have been fined some have already used up the allocated numbers of COS that they are allowed in a year so they can no longer give you that certificate of sponsorship that you are waiting for so if you are watching this video and you are in that boat then i'm going to say please get back to your employer ask them what exactly is going on are they going to still give you certificate of sponsorship some employers will just be stringing you along and be saying yes we will we will and then at the last minute they'll say unfortunately we cannot give you certificate of sponsorship anymore so i don't want you to be in that boat so go back to your employer right now instead of waiting and waiting for them to get back to you go back to them and tell them that you really really need your certificate of sponsorship to be issued and if they are not going to issue you a certificate of sponsorship they should let you know so you can find other options now let's move on to the second part of this video so what are your options as a student already in the uk or as a foreign worker back in your home country looking for a sponsorship job or even as a dependent already in the uk trying to secure your stay in the uk what are your options so let's start with the student first if you are a student in the uk and you are yet to graduate you guys are aware that you can no longer get a sponsorship job in the uk unless you have finished your studies
this and if you are still studying by the time you are watching this video it means that you can no longer bring your dependents over to the uk because that deadline of 11th march has already passed any application that you are making right now is going to be subjected under the new visa term so what exactly are your options if you don't want to finish your studies and go back to your home country or you don't want to live in the uk without your dependents so one option available for you if you are a student in the uk right now is to explore the postgraduate option so you guys are aware that this new visa route does not apply to those that are undergoing postgraduate research programs so if you are currently on a master's program in the uk so when you are done with your master's program you can speak to your course advisor and let them know that you are interested in a postgraduate option so they can actually give you options that you can apply for and with postgraduate visa you can bring your family to the uk to come and live with you now another option available for you as a student is to find job in your field of study a lot of students right now graduate from their master's program and then go and look for care assistant jobs because it is easier for them to get sponsorship but right now it's no longer easy for you to find an employer that is going to give you a job with certificate of sponsorship so instead of wasting your time looking for care assistant jobs why don't you explore your field of study you came to the uk on a master's program what exactly did you study so if you are currently studying engineering when you finish your engineering program why don't you look for engineering jobs around you now i don't know how the whole process of being an engineer in the uk works but if you have studied a program that requires you to register with a body like let's say those um, microbiologists or those medical lab scientists before you can work in that specialty why don't you explore that option find out how you can actually register and then start looking for a job within your specialty now remember that this new visa rule that says you cannot come to the uk with your dependents anymore only applies to those that are applying for a job as a care assistant or a senior care assistant so if you are looking for a job in other fields in other specialty this rule does not apply to you so the only concern you have is looking for a job that is going to pay you that minimum salary of 38,700 pounds so you can bring your family over to the uk with you now if you decide that you don't want to go through these two options then you can decide to apply to the nhs and if you are finding it hard to secure a job within the nhs you can apply for the two years postgraduate visa at least within those two years it will give you enough time to secure a job within the nhs now moving on if you are a foreign worker still in your home country and you are looking for a sponsorship job in the uk that will allow you to come over to the uk with your family what exactly are your options so the first thing you should do is stop applying for care home jobs even though some care homes can still give you certificate of sponsorship to come over to the uk most of these care homes are affected by these new visa rules and they are not exempted so instead of applying to care home jobs apply to the nhs instead most of the time the nhs is exempted from a lot of visa rules so instead of wasting your time applying to those care home jobs that may not even allow allow you to come over to the UK with your family don't waste your time just apply to different NHS there are different NHS in different parts of the UK you can apply to NHS England you can apply to NHS Scotland if you are planning to come over to Northern Ireland to work in the hospital we don't call it NHS here we call it HSC so if you are looking for a hospital job in Northern Ireland don't look for NHS jobs in Northern Ireland look for HSC jobs in Northern Ireland now another option available for you is to look for a job within your field of study I know it's not going to be really really easy for you to get a job considering that you have to meet up with different requirements as it pertains to that field that you are actually looking for employment in so I know it's not going to be that easy but you can also explore that option and try to meet up with the requirements that will allow you to get a job within your current scope of practice now another option for you to consider is to check for other routes now you don't have to come over to the UK on a care worker visa or on a health and care worker visa you can actually come to live and work in the UK on other routes that have has nothing to do with care workers or health and care worker visa you can explore other visa options like the global talent visa and if you go to the uk vi website you will find different types of visas that you can actually apply for that will allow you to come over to the uk to live and work with your family so moving on what about dependent already in the uk what exactly are your options so let's say for example your partner is still a student and cannot get a job with certificate of sponsorship right now what exactly is your fate you as a dependent don't have any restrictions in your visa so you can actually go ahead and do a course you are under a dependent visa right now you don't have any restrictions whatsoever in your visa which means that you can actually go to school study equip yourself and then build your cv so that you can find a job within your scope of practice that thing you were doing back in your home country before you came over to the uk with your partner you can actually expand on that and secure a job within your scope of practice that way your partner when she finishes her school can easily switch over to be your dependent on your visa another option available for you 
you is to start a business in the uk so if you have a handwork if you have a skill you want to go into business raise some capital and then start a business in the uk when you start a business you can actually switch your visa from a dependent visa to an innovator founder visa and with that visa your dependent can actually remain with you in the uk and you can apply for indefinite leave to remain after three years of living in the uk in that particular visa type now another option is that you can keep on working right now you know you don't really have any restrictions in your visa you can work seven days a week nobody cares but don't do that so you can work as much as you can and gather enough funds and move to another country now other countries are actually opening their doors to immigrants not just uk alone if uk is closing their doors look to other countries there is australia there's canada there's us get the funds get your qualifications your partner that is a student right now or let's say maybe she's not even a student but your partner that is already in the uk you guys can actually put heads together get enough funds and leave the uk move to another country now if you you feel like you really really want to call uk home and you don't want to go through the other options that i have said then you can apply to the nhs the good thing with the nhs is that they are always recruiting so if you go online to any nhs website right now you will see that the jobs are always there in fact after this video i'm going to be filming the next video and that video is going to be explaining the step-by-step -step process on how to apply for a care assistant job in the uk so if you are watching this video and you are not subscribed to my channel yet please hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell so you'll be notified when i drop more videos like this and if this is your first time seeing my face hello my name is scholastica and if you subscribe to my channel i'll try my best to answer all the questions you have about how to travel abroad with your family so until next time stay fabulous i love you guys bye